I was born in Birmingham, Alabama. I'm the oldest uh, child of Jonathan and Gwendolyn Hare. I grew up with uh, parents, my siblings, my brother and sister Kimberly and Jonathan Christopher. We spent our Saturday afternoons with my great aunts. My aunts were, were important because uh, not only were they funny, but they would tell stories of their fear of going to the doctor. They never would like to go to the doctor. So I, at five, said, don't worry, when I grow up, I'm going to be your doctor. So that's why I became a physician. And uh, so I went to medical school at the University of Alabama. And then after finishing and deciding to become an obstetrician gynecologist, came to Houston at Baylor College of Medicine for my residency. I had a wonderful residency, I worked like an animal. And because of that experience in taking care of high-risk women and seeing women with complicated pregnancies, it made me think about why is this happening? And particularly looking at a number of them were African-American and Hispanic and more people who looked like me. I've been employed in one job, thank God, for the last 17 years with Houston Perinatal and uh, at the Women's Hospital. Being a doctor is charitable, <laughs> but I realize that that can't be the only service that I give. I have, uh, first, my initial invitation was to work with the Minority Cord Blood Banking with MD Anderson to help recruit African American women to donate their cord bloods for bone marrow transplants. I also am on the board of March of Dimes. I wouldn't be here without my parents. I wouldn't be here without my aunts who made me look at life different. I wouldn't be out here with friends. I wouldn't be here without, you know, my faith. Because uh, realistically, um, it's only by grace and by favor and the Lord just smiling on that little girl <laughs> from Birmingham that I'm here today. Thank you.